Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a custom theme in the Terminator Terminal Emulator. But first, if you like videos where I show you how to install stuff and how to set up software, make sure to subscribe. Okay, with that being said, let's get to the video. First thing I'm going to do is open up a browser here, and what I'm going to search for is Terminator Terminal Themes, and I see this GitHub repository repository by Oliver Laura, I think is how you pronounce it. I'm going to click on that. And if I go down here to installation, I see that I have to install requests using pip. Now, uh, Python 3 pip won't be installed in a Chromebook out of, by default, so we first need to install that. So to do that, we'll type sudo apt install and then python3 pip and hit enter. That's going to prompt me to take some additional space. I'm going to confirm with Y and enter. Okay, once pip is installed, we can install requests by typing sudo pip3 install requests and hit enter. Okay, now that requests is installed, what we can do is we go back to this GitHub repository. The second step here says create plugins directory if it does not exist. So I'm just going to copy this line of code, which is going to create the plugins directory inside of the terminator directory inside of the .config folder. Okay, so let's do that. We'll just paste this in with Control Shift V and press Enter. Okay, so there we go. Um, I can confirm that. Let me just cd into .config slash terminator slash plugins. Okay, there we go. We've got that directory. I'm going to go back to my home directory now and we want to get the correct plugin. So we have, at the time of this recording, this is Terminator is greater than version 1.9. So I'm just going to copy this line of code here and then paste that in, hit enter, and there we go. Okay. And so we, we see this activation here. We actually have to close out Terminator and restart it. Okay. So I'm going to close it out and then go to my launcher, find Terminator again, and reopen it back up. Okay, there we go. Now I can go click on this to preferences um, and I'll click on preferences. Okay, and then I wanna go here to plugins and I want to enable the Terminator themes. And I'm gonna click close. I'll close this back out and restart again. And now I can right click and now I see I have this themes tab when I right click on Terminator. So I'm gonna click on themes and I've got a bunch of different themes here that I can go through and kind of take a look at the colors as I'm looking through so I can see these different colors that I have. So if I keep going down, I can just you know pick one that I want to install. Um, let's see here, let's do Cobalt 2. I'll now click install and there we go. Okay, now if I close out Terminator and then reopen Terminator again, Okay, to get the Cobalt 2 to start as my default layout, what I'm going to do is cd into my .config slash terminator, uh, and then I'm going to open with Vim, I'm going to open my uh, config file here, okay? And we see we have default here. Um, what I'm going to do is rename this to, or rename Cobalt 2 to default, and then I'm actually going to get rid of the default okay and now when i quit out of here and close this out if i restart terminator it starts with the cobalt 2 theme now if i want to change to a different theme the process is going to be the same here so i'm going to go to themes here i'm going to search for let's see what, what might i want uh how about capuchin frappe Meh, maybe Click install. Okay, so that's installed. All right, I'm going to close this out and let's restart it just to get that set. Okay, that's going to, it's going to start up with Cobalt as the default. Now I'm going to have to CD into my config, into Terminator here, and I'm going to open my config file. And again, I'll uh, go down to where it says Capuchin Frappe. I'll delete these two words here uh, and rename this default. I put my square brackets to close it out that way 
And what I'm going to do here is just delete all these lines of code here and then write and quit. And now I can close this out. And when I reopen it, now it has that cat boot gin theme. Okay, so you're going to have to go into the config file to make it persist, or you can just go here to your profiles once you install another theme. Like, let's say I want to install another theme. Let me just install another one here. Let's do 324 night here. Click install. Okay, and now I can go to my profile and select that one. But the default one that starts up is going to be the one I set in my config file. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, uh, please make sure to give it a like as it will help the video out a lot. Thanks for watching.